Mary Smart, Lake County Karaoke Corner. We're going to be talking to Xavier Gomez today. He's a karaoke DJ for several places around Lake County. And he's going to tell us some stuff about himself and how he got here and how he got into music. And I'm going to let him talk right now and answer a question for me. So start with how you got into music. How I got into music was at a very young age for me. Um, I was born and raised in New York, so I'm originally from New York. And um, ever since I was small, I was playing music, uh, some form, some fashion. And when I say small, uh, I started out with guitar, uh, piano, and then I learned how to play guitar. So my dad playing piano one day, and it just astounded me the way he was doing it. So I learned how to play the piano. The following year, I went ahead and learned how to play guitar. Anyway, junior high school, chorus, two band classes, uh, high school, I actually graduated with an honors diploma, you know, the good grades and everything, but also with the music as a major. Um, and I almost actually was that close from going to the uh, performing arts high school from fame, believe it or not. But then we moved out to Long Island, and then I went to a, uh, one of the dioceses, as they call it up there. And uh, I graduated with music as a major, three band classes, chorus, and theater. From there, I went to college, Nashville, Tennessee, to Belmont University. So I got a degree in commercial music and music business. Um, You've been a through a lot to get where you're at today. Yeah. Yes, and when I got out, and I never really did anything with my music until um, I ended up coming to Georgia. Now, you know, I've been in small bands. We had garage bands growing up, high school, uh, things like that. Nothing real professional, but yet everything was professional. Those were growing pains for me. Yes, yes, especially through college. You know, everything is professional because, I mean, it's college, and uh, you had to be on your P's and Q's about everything for your grades. Anyway, um, I never really did anything. I wound up in Georgia, of all places, back in 89. Um, married, kids, divorced. Um, long story on that one, sh made shorter. Um, I was working for Atlanta Gas and Line. Been with them for two years. Um, and by then, because of my past, lost a lot of equipment, you know, never gained more. When I was working for Atlanta Gas and Light here in a county, reading gas meters, for two years, I'm able to go around every 30 days to the same locations, basically, which includes passing pawn shops. Oh boy. So when I go into the pawn shops, I was able to build up certain amounts of equipment. I had all kinds of stuff. And then I build up my music gear again. Um, and I started playing with a little band. Uh, believe it or not, my cross the street neighbor, we just started a band. He played drums, I was playing guitar, we were singing. And um, had a bass player, of course, and another guitarist. Uh, somebody asked us if we'd play their wedding. Out of nowhere. I said, sure. Um, so I looked up the basics of it and how to do it. Now, mind you, this is back in 1990. And um, then they were talking about, uh, we play, as a matter of fact, this guitar pick is from his son. He gave it to me, I've had it all this time because he thought it was so cool that me and his dad, the across the street neighbor, were in this band and was, were playing. Creating a bond. You know, um, and I've had it ever since. Anyway, um, somebody asked me, can you do a karaoke show for a restaurant? Okay, yeah, I shelled out some money. Um, my first karaoke rig was uh, my little CDG machine and a little display that I put on three milk crates that were tied together and it had a wood top with a little skirt around it and then the CDG came from there. And I had a little uh, dual CD player uh, so I can mix music. I shelled out from, I must have started out with only 1,500 songs. Uh, 
and uh, I spent a good penny for that um, just to be able to do it. And then as this grew, I would buy songs that people asked me about. Do you have this? Do you have that? I'd always be like, I don't have it, but I'll have it next week. And then I'd order the CD, have it delivered me from Karaoke Warehouse or Ace Karaoke. Um, two places, if you're looking for places to get your CDs, they're still available for you. Um, and as Amazon grew, of course, you could get karaoke discs from Amazon as well. Excuse me. So uh, it's, been a, it's been a journey, but I was always making it better. Um, the CDGs got redundant. It was ridiculous to haul those CDs yes. around I like all the, the time. Out there now. It is so redundant. And um, when I remember going to a couple other karaoke hosts up in Georgia shows and seeing what they went through, and I said, that's so much. There's got to be a simple way. And uh, there was a company, He was. they were already out there, and I checked a couple other companies that did the digital karaoke and um, the company I use is PC DJ and uh, I started out with two of theirs one was the red version from way back when and then their karaoke Kai. Uh, it was phenomenal it was astounding uh, I just couldn't afford a laptop so me being the versatile person I am I actually had to carry the the Hard, the software downloaded onto my desktop. I taped my desktop inside the inside of a cabinet that had my amplifier, and then I brought the monitor up. I did a dual split for the VGA monitor so that the singers could see it. I could see what I was doing, um, and yeah, it I worked. To start somewhere. Oh, and it worked. It worked like a charm, mm -hmm. and. Nobody knew the wiser because, you know, you have your amp cabinet. Now you're still growing with it, aren't you? I was still growing with mm -hmm. it. And you, so you upgraded to the, the in, buying this in software two, and putting it on your computer now? Right, on the desktop. Mm -hmm. um, now, in 2010, um, when I became legitimized as New Vision Entertainment Services, um, and then started using the name DJ X-Man, um, that's when I got the laptop and the, the company actually developed their software better and better. Uh, there were companies that were coming out that you could get songs right online. Um, there was a couple that you weren't supposed to. So when I looked into these, you had your legal, you had your illegals. Um, could you get them? Sure. But it wasn't legal to sell or for you to purchase it from the United States. You get either from the UK, um, or uh, the Canada company, there was a Canada company that was doing it. And this is a few years back, but now it came down. Um, so 2010, when New Vision Entertainment Services was born, uh, we were doing the laptop, we developed a new system. It was very versatile. Um, it's freestanding. Are you... Uh you had other karaoke's working under you? Got I had when I was in Georgia. Yeah. Now I moved down here to Florida three years ago. And um, I could have done a little bit more homework about my demographic area that I moved yeah. into. I got a friend who should have studied Florida for you. Oh, yes. Here. <laughs> but, you know, by the grace of God, things worked out, chugged through it, and kept yeah. on going. They say um, persistence. I did. And um, I kept driving back up to Georgia for regular gigs. So I was kind of barely making it. Um, so you're stable here now in Lake County? Now I am. Uh, COVID from last year really beat everybody's butt, is the best way to put it. Really put every, things in perspective. Yes. But um, once they've opened things back up, um, it see, just I'm seeing blew them open. coming back. Yeah, yeah. It, it just blew up. It blew up uh, so much to the point where in Georgia, after that much time up there, I was in the northeast of Atlanta and then in the southwest of Atlanta, probably about five years in both places. So I have a big fault. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here, because there's, there's so many people that are doing it down here, you know, 
uh, when challenges. I first came down here, I found, well, we've got, you know, we've got Bobby Joe over here. He's been doing it for us for 15 years, and he does it for $50 and a bar tab. Yeah. Yeah. We have competition uh, is tough. We have Jim. He's been doing it for us for 25 years. He's retired. He just does it for drinks, and it was uh, really hard to deal with. So my comeback was always okay, but does he get new music? Yeah. Does he, does he bring new? Does he bring new customers, or are you still? People say, do you have a following? I'll be honest, no, I don't have a following, but if you give me three weeks, I guarantee you that you'll have more people than you had the week before. And okay. eventually you'll have... You're a faithful person. Yes. Now, and, and I believe what I do and what I bring to the table is what enlightens it. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the show. I've got all this music stuff love behind to me. I like to entertain people, but I love to see people with a smile on their face. They're having a great time. I'm doing my job. And you praise them and let them know. Exactly. I make them feel That's welcome. That's the number one. The whole they thing. could be the worst singer. But you're going to But you know them. what? That was awesome. Mm -hmm. That was great. Yeah. You left them walking away feeling good about I themselves. wanted to feel great about yeah. those things, you know. And we, um, I used to be the Georgia Regional Director for Talent Quest um, in Georgia, of course. And uh, we've sent four people two different years over the town of us, all expenses pay. Uh, all we were supposed to do is uh, do for their hotel and stuff. Now we did their hotel, their entry fee, and everything, and even had spending money for them. Um, so that was real exciting because there were some people that actually got into the music industry out of those from both different contests each year. And of course, they got a chance to go to Laughlin, Nevada. Yes, I've and, been there. You know, for talent quest. Yeah. So I'm I'm still waiting to get there myself because unfortunately um, I've had to work mm -hmm. <laughs> and keep my shows up. Um, down here now, it's getting to a point where yes, I wish I could train somebody. And I say train somebody because believe it or not, I'd rather train somebody brand new that loves people and loves music and teach them brand new because everybody already knows, oh, I know what I'm doing, I know how to do that. And if you put that person to go fill in for my show or fill in for a show, they're just not what you expected. And they're definitely not what your client yeah. expected. They're like, oh. They want professional sounding music behind yes. them when they're singing. Right. And they want their praises and they want to feel that everybody's pleased. So I've seen a lot of emotional stuff going on, and I've seen different karaoke's, you know, DJs in different locations and places. A lot of them have forgotten it's about them. It's about our clients. Yeah, it's about them. You ready to sing a song? I sure am. Are you picked up one that you want to sing? Well, I actually had a decision to make, and I think I'm going to go ahead with um, Every Rose Has a Storm. Yes, it does. By Poison. Poison. I'm going to step off stage and okay. let you and Dean will take it from here. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. She's alright Oh my 
I'm glad you guys decided to join in with us. My name is Xavier Gomez. They call me DJ Xavier the X-Man. I'm with New Vision Entertainment Services. You could find our shows and places that we do public events, nves.biz, www.nves.biz. God bless you all, and keep on singing.